Now we understand about molecular formulas of compounds, and the next logical step is to be able to calculate the molar mass of a compound. So really what we're asking is what's going to be the masses of all the elements that are inside of a particular compound. So the molar mass, and this is also called a molecular weight, of a compound is equal to the sum of all the molar masses of the atoms contained inside of that compound. So we're going to find out how many of each type of element are inside of the compound. We're going to find out those individual atomic weights. Then we're going to add them all together to get the molar mass of the individual compound. So an example is CO2. And this molecular formula tells us that in a CO2 molecule, it contains one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. So when I want to find the molar mass of a CO2 molecule, I take one times the atomic weight of carbon, so that's 12.01, plus two times the atomic weight of oxygen. And then I add these numbers together and I get that the molar mass or molecular weight of the CO2 molecule is 44.01 grams per mole. So remember, even though here we're talking about individual elements, those numbers that are on the periodic table in terms of weight are actually the units of grams per mole. So when I add these together, what we get is grams per mole for the overall molar mass of an individual compound. So, and this can be done for many different elements. And then the idea is once we understand or calculate what the molar mass of a compound is, we can use that to calculate moles and even molecules like we've done previously with individual elements. To get to moles, I divide by now molecular weight instead of atomic weight. So the question here is how many moles of ethyl alcohol, and I give you the molecular formula, are in 3.2 grams of ethyl alcohol. The first thing I want to do is find the molar mass of ethyl alcohol. In one ethyl alcohol molecule, there are two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom. And if I add up the atomic weights of each of these individual atoms, I will get the molar mass of ethyl alcohol. So we have two carbons, six hydrogens, and one oxygen. And when I combine them all together, I get that the molar mass of ethyl alcohol is 46.07 grams per mole. We were given a certain number of grams. We want to find the number of moles. And now the calculation is analogous to what we were doing with individual elements. I remember that if I take grams of a species and divide now by its molecular weight, which is in grams per mole, I now get mole. So I take the 23.2 grams of ethyl alcohol, divide by its molar mass, 46.07 grams per mole, I get the final answer that the number of moles is 0.504 moles.